Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode 121. Today is Sunday, September 27th, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. I think it's 27th. But yeah, so I got a couple finished objects and some whips to show you, and I also want to show you something about bags that's coming up in the shop soon. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. It's going to be a short episode. I just wanted to film this in between sewing. I'm sewing today. I got half sewn bags all around me. <laughs> and uh, I just want to take a break from sewing to record and then go back to sewing. <laughs> but um, speaking of sewing, and I said sewing a lot. But the next bag update is going to be Wednesday. This coming Wednesday. It's the last day of September. Is that the 30th? Yeah. Um, at 6 p.m., Central Standard Time. I'll, the last few updates have been early in the morning and people kind of complained about that because um, they don't want to get up early and stuff. So <laughs> even though I'm an early riser, that's why I always make my bag updates early in the morning because I um, I wake up early, like at 5 in the morning. So uh, anyways, I'm going to do them in the evening. So it's 6 p.m. Stan Central Standard Time, which I think is uh, 7 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific, I think. <laughs> No, 4 p.m. I don't know. I don't. You have to calculate it yourself. I don't know. <laughs> but it's 6 p.m. Standard Time, uh, Central Standard Time, for me, on Wednesday, September 30th. And there's going to be zipper notion pouches. Uh, I think a few. I think only one new drawstring bag, and there's still some drawstring bags in the shop right now. And then there's going to be um, 22, I think, tote bags. And this is not a done tote bag, <laughs> but this is a half done. See, it's just the outside part. But uh, this is the average size. It'll be a little bit shorter because I got to sew the liner in and the handles on, and that'll take like an inch off the top. <laughs> so my, my average tote bags, quilted tote bags, are this size with handles on them. You know, this is not done. <laughs> but the newer size that I'm trying out this time are bigger, <laughs> these ones. So there'll be some of the little ones. I think there's nine of the little ones. Because I already had my batting cut to that size. And then there's going to be 12 of these big ones. Um, I wanted to try these out. They are bigger, so they will cost a few dollars more. Uh, not a lot more, just a few dollars. Because it takes more material and more time sewing. And the handles will be larger. Um, so, yeah, that's the price. <laughs> uh, change, or whatever. But it's going to be bigger. And I've been using my iron-on labels, but I'm not enjoying those. I feel like they're going to peel off in the future. Um, no one's told me if theirs has fallen off, but I mean, I would kind of like to know if anyone's bought a bag and the label fell off that was iron on, let me know. But, um, there's nothing I can really do about it, but <laughs> I just want to know for like, re you know, so I know not to buy them anymore. But anyways, I'm probably not going to buy them anyways, <laughs> because I feel like they're going to fall off. So after I run out of all the ones that I have right now purchased, uh, probably the next two updates that I'll be out of the iron on labels, I'm going to go back to ordering the sew on ones that I put on the side, the fold over ones. I just like the way they look better. I don't know, I just like the way they look and um, I feel like they're actually secure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna have bigger ones for the big bags and I'm gonna purchase littler ones um, that are longer for the uh, little bags, like the zipper bags and all that. Because I just prefer so on. I feel like it's gonna stay on there. And in the future, not this update, but the next shop update, there will be tote bags with zippers. Hopefully the next one, if they come. I ordered zippers, so I'm waiting for them to come. But I want to make zippered tote bags that are quilted. And again, those will be a little bit more expensive because the zipper adds cost and the process of sewing it is longer. But, um, you know, I'm trying to make my bags a little bit better every every few updates. I'm just tweaking. Uh, I really like this size right here. But this is large. So I know some people don't want a giant tote, um, project bag. They might want a smaller one for, you know, hats and amigurumis and stuff. This is a this is going to be a bigger one. That'll be better for bigger projects. Uh, little blankets like baby blankets, bigger amigurumis, sweaters, shawls, big shawls, uh, like with number four and all that will fit good in this. And uh, eventually I might start trying to add pockets on the inside, <laughs> but uh, I'm just baby stepping my way into making better bags. But uh, I'm really loving this size right here. I'm gonna, I'm saving some Halloween material that was gifted to me. So I'm probably gonna make me a bag like this size out of that Halloween print and uh, have my own bag. And I wanna put a zipper in mine. I do have a snap thingy but I haven't messed with it yet, so I'm going to do the zippers because I know how to do zippers really well. <laughs> I've been doing zippers for years, but uh, I want to, you know, just make the bags bigger and better and keep adding different types of bags. But anyways, yeah, so it's a new tote bag size. <laughs> I'm working on those right now. i got a stack. Uh, let's see here. I think I made, I made f uh, four, 
I don't even know. I can't count. <laughs> I feel like I made another one. I made two, three. I made three of the big ones so far. All of the little ones. So I've got, what, nine more of the big ones to quilt. And then I will work on the putting the outers and liners together. But i got to cut the handles down to the right size. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go buy some more handles. <laughs> because I don't think I purchased enough. And I can't do that until Tuesday. So, um... Uh, but I'll have all the bags done by Tuesday night and getting ready to go in the shop Wednesday evening. So it'll be uh, Wednesday evening, September 30th. I think that's the last day of the month. I think there's a fly up there. I get sidetracked. I'm sorry. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so into crochet now. Enough about bags. All right, I got two finished objects, and they're pretty much the same thing. They're just different animals. <laughs> you did see one of my finished objects in another video that I made uh, last week. It was just a video I popped up just to show you it because I thought it was so cute. And uh, But I haven't shown it in no catching episode, so I'm going to show it to you now. But it's called the Pig Lovey Puppet, and I forgot to write down who did it. I do that so much. I think it's, uh, it's like E.K. something. Give me a second. Yeah, it's E-K-G, and it's E-K-A-Y-G. Um, her name is Erin Green, but she made this one. I made this one. She designed it. And it's a pig lovey that is a puppet. <laughs> it's so cute. I did do different eyes. Okay, here. Stay up there. The eyes I did were just uh, single crochet circles. I think I did six single crochets, and then I just put the little whites on there. Uh, she has, like, little sleeping eyes, and I just I wanted it to be awake. <laughs> so here's my pig. This is made with uh, Deverell Norville every day and the color I think is called baby pink I got this at my local thrift store I think or it was gifted to me I can't remember I've had it for a while on my stash I only had the one ball so I wanted to use it and I made this and this took up almost the whole ball I had like a small um scrap left that is going into my scrap can but so I got the pig made and I showed that to you guys last week I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these I guess gift put them in a gift box or something because I just wanted to make them they're cute and then I wanted to make another one because it was so fun. And I went to my stash and pulled out a half used skein that I had. And it was an old Red Heart that, uh, it's Red Heart Super Saver Lavender. And it's different than the current lavender, so it's, it's pretty old. <laughs> and it's different dial and all that. But, so I made the elephant. <laughs> also by EKG, um, website. It's just EKG. <laughs> But you can find them on Ravelry. You can purchase them on Ravelry. They're $2 each. Or you can click the link that's on there that goes to her website, and they're for free. So, um, I made the little element. It's so cute. And again, I, I made its eyes just single crochet circles because they were sleepy eyes, and I just wanted it to be awake. Because <laughs> if it's, you know, moving around, it's going to be awake. <laughs> but yeah, so there's its trunk and its ears. Now, this was a half skein of Red Heart Super Saver, and I used pretty much all of it. Again, there was just a little ball left. And it's, uh, I think I already put it in can't remember if I already put it in my blanket or not. I don't see it. <laughs> but it's in my uh, scrap bin to go into my blanket. It's stiffer because it's red heart. And I probably will um, maybe hand wash this a little bit just to get the, the yarn to soften up. I probably should have washed it before I put the facial features on. But uh, it doesn't matter. It's going to be a toy. <laughs> it's not actually, you know, it's just a toy. So it doesn't matter. So I made the pig and the elephant. And she's got a lion and a giraffe and a couple others, I think. I want to probably make them all. Since I made the two, I might as well make them all. But that's my only two finished objects this week. I haven't crocheted a whole lot. And uh, I've been sewing and cutting fabric and all that. I know I said I was going to take a few weeks off, but I feel weird not working on bags. So I did take a week off of doing anything. Uh, and then I cut the fabric and uh, started sewing yesterday. I made all the Notion pouches yesterday. I made 18 of those that will be in the shop this coming Wednesday. And uh, I gotta make all these tote bags, and then there's only one drawstring bag. <laughs> I had enough fabric left over to make a drawstring bag. But like I said, there's still some in the shop, and the next update will probably have some drawstring bags. I don't know. We'll deal with that when it comes. <laughs> but now for my whips, I have two active whips. I still haven't worked on that trigger treat bag. I need to get on that and work on it because Halloween's coming up. <laughs> but I still have a few weeks to worry about that. So my first um, whip, and it's almost a finished object. I would have finished it yesterday, but I ended up having to leave the house after Devin came home. We had to go fill the car up with gas, and also had to meet a woman, a local lady here, that I uh, sold some yarn to recently. She needed an M size hook, and she asked if I had an extra one, so and I did. So I gave her, I went to meet her to give her a hook. <laughs> but anyways, this is the Easy Pocket Shaw by Pamela Barton, which has a YouTube channel here called uh, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'll link 
her channel below, the free video tutorial for this uh, shawl, and where you can go to buy the PDF, all in the description below. I almost finished it. There's only one more row on this shawl that I have to do. <laughs> and I was almost finishing it, and then we had to leave. And when we came, by the time we got home, it was too late to sit down and crochet. I was having to clean up the house and get Jesse ready for bed. But here's my shawl that's only one row away from being done. Let me find it so I don't pull out the stitches. So here's the shawl now. I only have to do one more row of half double crochets to finish it, uh, this part of it. This is just the actual shawl part. So pretty, I love the laciness. It's pretty, I thought I was gonna give this to my mom but I might end up keeping this, I don't know. But then I have to go back and make the pockets also. And um, I'm not too concerned about stuff falling out of the pockets through the big holes because it's not gonna be a, it's not like some, I'm gonna be putting stuff in the pockets. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting my hands in the pockets, you know, to keep them warm, not, um, you know, putting my keys and stuff in there because that would just stretch it out anyways. But, so I'm not concerned about the holes. I think it's pretty anyways. So it's pretty big. It's gonna be a nice size. Ugh, can't get it, there you go. Shawl, it's gonna be warm and toasty. This is made with Lion Brand's jeans yarn. Did I bring one of those? I think I did, yeah, right here. Lion Brand's jeans, I bought this on clearance at Joann's earlier this summer. And the colorway is called uh, Faded. So it's Lime Brand Jeans. And they they have 246 yards. And this right here, this is all I have left. I have one more row to do. <laughs> and then that'll be three balls. So it would have taken, um, let's see, two, four, six, seven, about um, under 800 yards to do the body of this. This is a worsted weight. And uh, I'm using a L hook. Her pattern calls for a K-hook, but at the time that I started this, I didn't have an empty K-hook <laughs> that I could find. I had only one bag of my hooks with me. I was at my in-laws, and uh, the closest thing to a K I had was an L-hook that I got from the yarn hag Ryan in a hardtack box around Easter time. It was in April, I think. Um, this was in there. So, I love this hook, by the way. This is one of those you get at Hobby Lobby, I think, and uh, it's awesome. And it's also my only L. No, wait, I take that back. I do have an L in a clover amour, I think that's what it is. But I really like this hook, it works really well. It's got the, the head is kind of like a Susan Bates, but anyways, <laughs> I digress. Um, so it's almost three whole balls in the shawl, and then I'm gonna have to rip into uh, the fourth ball to make the pockets, I'm pretty sure, because this won't be enough for both pockets. But, um, and I have five of these, so I'll have a ball left. I might be able to make a hat or something, or an ear warmer something to match so that's that's cool but I really like this jeans yarn I don't know if they clearanced it out like forever and it's gone or if it's just this colorway maybe they clearanced out um I've never bought it before I just bought it because it was on clearance and uh so if it is still in existence I will definitely get some but look how pretty it is it's so lacy and pretty <laughs> I like it a lot I only have one more row to do and it's all only half double crochets all the way back down I think um uh, back loop only or something like that but it's living in my yarn bowl. I just have it kind of like this <laughs> in there in, on the couch because that's where I sat and use it. This yarn bowl was gifted to me by Becky at Funny Farm Crochet. Um, I think this one was for my uh, potiversary last year. She gifted me a littler one for my birthday, my actual birthday last year. A year before that, I can't remember. <laughs> and uh, then she gifted me this bigger one uh, for my potiversary, which I love. I love them both. I use them both all the time, but I actually use this one more because I, I have a lot of big scrap balls that are like half skeins <laughs> that are wound up and this one's bigger. So I use this one a lot, but it's right now it's, it's housing my pocket shawl. <laughs> I do love that pattern though. My only other um, active whip that I am currently working on is my scrap blanket, which I'm using a J hook and worsted weight acrylic scraps. And I think I have a stitch marker from where I was last working on it, yeah. Ooh. Where this stitch marker is hanging, right here, is it in the blue? It's in the orange, is where you guys last seen it. So I added a few inches to it. <laughs> Oops, I'm not gonna stop over. So I'm um, right here, I just did some red. It's getting pretty big. It's really wide, I can't wait to get it done. I think it's gonna be a good couch blanket. And uh, yeah, so this is all gonna be, this. so far this is mostly Red Heart. There is some paint box yarn in here. 
and some I love this yarn, but it's all acrylic, worsted weight. Because I wanted to keep it the same size <laughs> ish. It's getting there. I do have a lot of scrap balls left of my own yarn, but also this weekend I bought some fabric from a woman off of Facebook. She's an older lady who had a big fabric stash and she was selling it because she doesn't sew anymore. So I bought it <laughs> to make bags with. And um, a lot of them are gonna be really cool bags because it's a lot of vintage prints. <laughs> She's probably had them for quite some time. But um, I purchased the fabric from her and she also gave me a bag of scrap balls <laughs> of yarn that she had because she crochets also. And so I'm gonna be putting that also in my blanket. And it does appear to be, I think it's all acrylic except there's one that's a little different so I probably won't put it in here. Just because of the type of yarn it is, it's a different type of yarn. But uh, I was happy to get some scrap balls for my scrap blanket. I'm moving the stitch marker now so that I can be accurate next time. But yeah, so that's all my current active whips. I do have more things I wanna start, of course, but I'm, my goal for this week is to finish this shawl and that's pretty much my goal this week, other than sewing goals. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. I done talked about the chop update and all my crochet and all that stuff. So I'm going to hop back off here because I need to finish up sewing for today and then get dinner started later. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.